so, hey, so please, what we got here now, you see this pass of wheat right now is trampled, right? So what I had is I had my two tires running, you know, in the same path, right? So these two tires were same path on the sprayer. What I've done now on this path right here, you can't see where I've drove now. So try to get a good view of it here. Right behind the sprayer now, you can't see where I was driving. The, the change I made is the offset of the tires. So now these 900s, I have one tire here, one tire here. The difference is that front tire will lay the wheat down. If you run this back tire in the same track, it's driving over wheat that's already laid over. If you offset them, this tire will drive over wheat that's not laid over. And then it pops right back up, right? So putting your tires for the in-crop herbicide pass on wheat in the same track will cause more damage. For sure. your track right there with the tires running in the same tracks, so we're gonna spin around now and show you what it looks like. This is where we drove with the tires offset. Makes a huge difference. The wheat pops back up way faster. So what we've done now, you know, with this model, we still have the hydraulic adjust on our axles, right? So we got 620 tires on here. The reason why we pick 620s, you look at where the offset is, it's perfectly aligned so I can make four tracks instead of two. The reason why I want to do this, if you're doing burnoff and dusty like it is in Alberta this year, this front tire will disturb the stubble and, you know, kind of make it dustier, right? The back tire will run in that same track and kick up all that disturbed soil. So if you put both tires running in fresh soil, you're going to make less dust. Same thing for your in-crop herbicide. This front tire is going to knock the wheat over and kind of lay it over. If that back tire runs in the same track, it pushes the wheat and hurts it more, right? So if you offset them, the wheat pops up faster. 